Hello and a very warm welcome. I am Ruchi Sharma and today we are going to talk about consensus algorithm. Consensus is key to the decentralized participation in the distributed leisure environment. The participants should arrive at a consensus about what is good and should be included and what is bad should be excluded. It is important for the entire community to function in an orderly fashion and realize the purpose of the collaboration. Without consensus, there will be chaos. Chaos would be detrimental to the sustainability of the system. In the blockchain ecosystem, a consensus algorithm is a defined programmed procedure. It is a set of rules which defines how the peer participants of the peer-to-peer -peer network conduct themselves in the environment. These rules will help the participant decide on which of the transactions are to be accepted to be included in the immutable digital ledger and which ones are not to be. Why is a consensus algorithm needed? The peers in the network will never know each other. The problem therefore is how to establish trust among the participants without disclosing their identities. In order to achieve that, the activities allowed to one needs to be restricted and strictly defined. So once you know that the other participant can't really misbehave, you can participate in the network with trust and together can achieve reliability. This will help a larger participation and will in turn lead security to the entire process. The consensus algorithm has five objectives in the DLT environment. First of those objectives is that it wants to achieve unified agreement among participants. In centralized systems, trusting the central authority is mandatory. Here, the participants need to trust the system and they need to do this without having to establish trust among each other. Only then, this environment can achieve unified agreement. Secondly, the network participants should be motivated to achieve common alignment of all the economic incentives. This is a must to develop a self-regulating system, which can be entrusted. Thirdly, the system should not allow anyone to cheat. It must prevent double spending. Fourthly, the system is supposed to be fault tolerant. So much so that if a section of the network fails to perform at any point of time, the rest of the network should be able to continue business seamlessly and keep providing consistent and reliable results. Last but not the least, the consensus algorithm must be designed in a way that ensures equality among all participants so that no one can take any unfair advantage from the system. Safety first. The algorithm are capable of generating valid results and does not entertain false attempts. It should be participatory without any discrimination towards any participant and should allow and incentivize participation. Egalitarian It must treat every participant as an equal member of the whole community. A faulty consensus algorithm will split the decision of the community and may even result in the duplication of the records, creating conflicting transaction history and failing to perform as a single source of truth. This result from failure of the community to arrive at a consensus. Subsequently, this will make some nodes or participants confused about the right course of action and result in malfunction. A section of the community could get conflicted and will increase the latency in internodal communication, dispute resolution, increasing the application latency and reducing the network efficiency. In other terms, it will make the objectives of the blockchain project fail. Consensus algorithms are commonly termed as proof of something. The most popular one is the first one used by Bitcoin blockchain proof of work. Others are proof of stake, proof of authority, proof of history, proof of activity, proof of identity, proof of burn, proof of elapsed time, proof of importance, and many such. Some are also known differently as delegated proof of stake, least proof of stake. Some have uncommon names like Byzantine fault tolerance, direct acrylic graph, tinder mint, Ouroboros, and some even call themselves grandpa. 
Grandpa may sound funny, but it's actually an acronym for ghost-based recursive ancestor deriving prefix agreement. Thank you. We will keep coming back with more interesting stories. I'm Ruchi Sharma. Have a great day.